before I tell you the next story, let me stay in Guazulu Natal, but in Newcastle now, and show you the arrival there of the delegation of the IFP at the home of the late uh, first Premier of Guazulu Natal, Dr. Frank Mzalose, who passed on uh, a few days ago. That's the delegation there, uh, led by the IFP President, Velenkosi Nishabisa. You see there also the Scopa chairperson, Mkulego Sengwa, among those people who are part of that delegation. They are there to pay their last respects uh, to the late Dr. Frank Mzalose, who, as I say, was Guazulu Natal's first premier after the 1994 elections. Uh, he has been afforded a special uh, official funeral uh, of a particular category. I will not hazard a, um, a sort of uh, trying to remember uh, off the top of my head what the exact category is because these things are very, very specific. You are seeing that the IFP president in your picture. Also watching that for us is ENCA's Tubeli Tlevilane who is in uh, Newcastle. So Tuba, the IFP delegation arriving a short while ago, I understand. Yes, uh, just in, 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 on your short, is the IFP delegation led by its president, Ubabu Velengosin Sabisa. We've been expecting them. We were, they were supposed to arrive at 11 here. Um, they are still getting screened here, as you understand that there are COVID-19 regulations that they need to adhere to. They are getting screened and get their details taken down. I've seen um, the national spokesperson of the IFP, Mkulego Sengo. I've seen uh, Ubabu I've seen Ubabu Naren Singh. Those are the leaders of the party that are accompanying the president uh, to pay their respect to their former national chairperson. As you'll understand that um, the late premier served as the party chairperson um, uh, of the IFP for many years. We're hoping that as soon as they're done with the family, they will be able to talk to us and share um, their word with us as they are um, going to pay their respect to their former member. Yeah, and of course it's been a hive of activity there as people have been flocking to the home of the late Dr. Frank Mzalose to console and comfort uh, the family and share words uh, of uh, commiseration and, and remembrance uh, of the late former Premier. Absolutely, Tulasi, I mean, you heard from uh, many people um, hailing him as the peacemaker in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. Yesterday we were with the premier of the province, Ubabu Sikhezigalala, who also spoke about the role that the former premier played in the province of KwaZulu-Natal during the difficult times in the province. As you'll understand that um, he led around, uh, he was the premier of this province in 1994, and that was during the transition um, from the upper state to the democratic state and he was very influential especially around the province of KwaZulu Natal in ensuring that this place uh, remains or um, um, is, 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 is kept in a, a peaceful way and in the area where he lived here in Newcastle we spoke to some of uh, the locals here who were telling us that they will always remember him for his role not only for ensuring peace in this area but for also ensuring that the area of Newcastle sees development like many other areas, as you'll know that this area um, is, um, I think, is the fourth biggest city in the province of Wazulu Natal. That was through the effort of leaders such as the late Premier, Dr. Frank Mzalose. So as the leaders are inside here, we're expecting that when they are done, they will be able to talk to us and give us a word on how they will remember their former chairperson. All right, Tuba Vilani, thank you for that, for that update there from Newcastle there, uh, updating us on the arrival of the delegation of the IFP led by its president, who have just arrived there uh, to pay their uh, respects to the late Premier Frank Mzalose, who was Premier of KwaZulu Natal. And as Tuba points out, 1994 to 1997, my goodness, what a difficult time that was uh, in politics, particularly in KwaZulu Natal. It really was difficult terrain. Uh, to navigate as a leader, as a political leader uh, in any really of the main formations in the country.